oh my god oh my god i don't know if i'm getting my hopes up or it's another greenwashing situation like h&m hi friends welcome to my conscious consumer series and for your convenience i have the timestamps down in the description box and i have my laptop right here so we can check out this campaign together so last week, Ulta Beauty just launched their Conscious Beauty campaign. And according to their mission statement online, they're giving us more choices to find brands that align with our values. Before we dive in fully with this campaign, let's talk about Ulta as a company. So here's a background of Ulta Beauty in case you guys are not from America. Ulta Beauty is an American chain beauty store, just like Sephora, and one of their competitors would be Sephora. However, I would like to say that they are better than Sephora because when it comes to the assortment of brands, they're more inclusive. There's higher end brands and also drugstore brands. Ulta has a way better reward membership system compared to Sephora. Dear Sephora, your membership is a joke. So let's get back to this campaign. So this goes back to a consumer individual core value. What do you stand for as a consumer? Are you more into clean beauty? is vegan cruelty free very important for you or are you looking at it in a packaging standpoint from what i see from what i see at first glance without reading anything it seems like they're promoting more eco sustainable natural kind of vibe because all of that greenery but if you're actually reading the mission statement they're literally just highlighting and organizing brands that align with each consumer value I think this is a great feature and organizations for conscious consumers because now we don't have to spend more time looking at the ingredients and making sure that they're certified and whatnot. Now, what I noticed is their partnership and I wanna talk about these two companies as well. They have partnered with Credo Collection and Loop. Before checking out this campaign, I have never heard anything about these two brands. Who is Credo Collection? Who is she? So Credo Collection is a retail store that focuses on clean beauty, non-toxic beauty, all that approach. So this makes sense when they said that they collaborate with experts in the field. When I read that at first, I thought they meant influencers. So I was kind of confused because I didn't see any familiar faces. But now that I get it, in a corporate standpoint, I think this is really smart because you don't want to pretend like you know the landscape of clean beauty and pretend like everything is fine. Working with another company who is actually in that domain I think it's really cool. If you enjoy my company so far, why don't you subscribe to this channel and be a part of the conscious consumer community and don't forget to like this video. I would really appreciate it. You guys, my heart, it feels like I'm falling in love again. I'm not even joking. So Loop is a retail store that offers low waste or zero waste packaging like if you've never seen one of my videos, I like to look at the press, what each, what journalists or the media have been saying about a company. And I want to go, I'm checking specifically on Loop because I'm really interested in this one. The container then pick up by delivery service, cleaned, refilled, and shipped out to customers again. Oh my God. Oh my God. I am very impressed and I think this is like music to my ears because as we know, packaging has been one of the problem because most of our packaging is plastic and you can use and you can reuse so much when it comes to plastic. So this is basically, it's a service. It's like a retail store and a service. If you guys want me to try out Loop itself, because I think they have groceries and other things. Comment down below. Let me know. Tell me. Just comment. Nisa. Try Loop. Now. And I will definitely do a review on the company. And I will go more in depth. I'm kind of. Okay. Wow. The fact that bigger brands are also collaborating with Loop. Basically having a new concept when it comes to packaging. Um. It's great, it's really great, but I do want to have a side note that just because companies are starting to adapt more sustainable methods or practices, it doesn't make them an actual ethical company. I feel like this is a standard where a lot of bigger companies should adopt because it's about time. Um, they have the means to do so. Us consumers and our planet deserve this. So please don't look at this as, you know, oh my God, they're, they're a great company, no. 
um, they're doing the right thing, they're taking the right step and good job, but they don't necessarily deserve a medal for it, if that makes sense. So from what I see, this is basically a campaign saying that, hey, conscious consumers, we have organized and curated each brands for each of your values. And I think it's honestly great. It makes our customer experience amazing. Um, it doesn't say that Ulta is a B Corp company. They did not claim that. They did not claim that they're more eco-conscious. I feel like they're claiming it more like, hey, we're just making things easier for people with specific values. I would like to see a section of BIPOC owned beauty brands. I have a playlist right over here where I talk about specific brands. So if you have any brands that claim that they're eco or sustainable and you would like to dive in a bit deeper, comment down below. And I would love to see you guys there. Don't forget to be a better human guys. Take care, stay safe. I'll see you guys next week.